Day 14 we've reached so far. I am surprised. I don't like war, but I usually like war movies or war games. Military scumbags. Katya is sad because she just came back from watching a horrible scene of a military man raping a normal woman. My name is the Sparrow's Jenny and this is this war of mine and we have been raided tonight. How wonderful. I've just recently watched Fury with Brad Pitt, the movie that recently just came out and that was an awesome movie. I enjoy war movies and war stuff but I don't enjoy war in general. Why am I talking about this? Someone tried to rob us. The attackers were very aggressive, but they didn't do much harm. I guess they got much more aggressive now because of the outbreak of crime that we're living right now. Thankfully, we were all armed. Bruno was wounded, but the attackers didn't steal anything. We were able to defend ourselves. You use two ammunition. The only ammunition I had. Now, I went to the church and that priest attacked me. I want to have revenge. And now I don't have ammunition. I guess I'm just, just gonna have to use the knife. No, I will not stop myself from attacking that priest. Bruno. Bruno has some ugly looking wounds. This seems very serious. Oh lord. Are we gonna use... Lose? Lose, Bruno. Bio. Day 13. I saw a soldier abusing some poor girl. I'm just glad it wasn't anyone I know. That sounds selfish, Katya. Don't look at me like that. Don't, don't, don't look at, don't, don't look at. I'd rob a hospital if I knew this could save Bruno's life. You know, that might be a good idea. But, uh, there's no hospitals around, I think. Marin, you're drinking coffee. I didn't give you permission to drink that coffee. I pity that girl, but that soldier would have done much worse to Katya had she interfered. You understand me, Marin. You do understand me. Bruno won't make it through unless we dress that wound. We need bandages. Fortunately, we got some bandages today. Bruno, severely wounded, recovering. Now, my question is, if I leave Bruno at the bed, sleeping, will he recover fully? Or... I guess bandages, just like pills, Kinda make it more fast for them to recover, but they do fully recover if they stay at bed. I'm not sure of this. I can't understand why Katya did not help that girl. It was too dangerous. You understand me as well. Damn, this wound, please help me. I'll die without bandages. Okay. Um, let's just use the bandages with this guy. Bruno, get them. Will you be able to run even with severely wounded? Yes, you are. You're an amazing man. Uh, Katya, just talk with Marin. No, he doesn't want to talk. What the heck? You talk with Katya. I see, so Katya doesn't like Bruno, but Bruno likes Katya. We have a romance going over here, but uh, a romance that isn't really being answered. The military is here to torment us. I already had an idea of that happening. Bruno, you're gonna cook while Marin throws his tricks to Katya and tries something. This man can't live without a woman. Bruno, severely wounded, depressed, so you're gonna... I can't cook yet? While I have that food there? That's unfortunate. But Katya is hungry, so you're gonna get that last piece of food if you stop talking with Marin. Don't you tell me I can't control Katya again? Katya is a rebel. She just likes to not do what I tell her to do. What a goddamn... Why is Bruno... Bruno, stop crying. Stop crying. <laughs> You're giving me strikes of tears. Bruno is depressed. Everyone's depressed. Will we ever have a good time in this war of mine? Dudes, this is not the game you want to play when you get home. After a full day of work. Or maybe it is. Because it will make you feel better. You look at these people and think. They have a miserable life. I love my own life. 
That's what you probably want to think. Honestly, I don't know what to do. I need someone to take this food so that Bruno can cook some more. Will Martin do it? I still cannot control Katya, or can I? No. Oh, I can, I can. Finally. Let's turn on the radio. Maybe she will feel better. Just dance la Coco Jumbo dance. How about that? I don't think it's working. I think Bruno is going to go for bed. Bruno, you still have to cook, dude. That's your chores for the day. Marin is slightly wounded and he's very tired, so you better get to the bed and sleep. Wait a second. I want to check if there's something I can cook. Um, well, I'm gonna cook now, but I want to check if there's something I can craft. That's what I meant. So here we go. Bruno's gonna cook. Marin, let's see what you can do. So I have some fertilizers, so I should use that with the trap for the animals. I am missing parts. So that's something I gotta remember to bring tonight. Um, let's see, what else? An armchair is a comfortable piece of furniture. Nah. They're kind of depressed, but an armchair won't do much. A guitar would probably be better, but I don't have a broken one. What about if I crashed one and broke and break it? Will then I be able? Never mind. So there's n really nothing. I'm getting to this point where I've reached a stall, you know, where I can't do that much. So I have some alcohol, that's cool. So I can craft some bandages right now. That's actually what I'm gonna make. Let's do it. So Katya is gonna eat, then she's gonna go to bed, I think. Bruno is severely wounded, but he's bandaged, so I guess he will be okay. He's the only one that is not tired, so... Katya, there we go. Let's... Just eat, shall we? I know it's not the best food in the world, but it's what we have. And we gotta live with it. Get some rest now. Marin, you're gonna go to bed. It hurts, I'll go to bed for a while. No, I'm sorry, Bruno. We still have some stuff to do today. Before you can possibly go to bed. Which we actually don't have. We don't have a bed for you, Bruno. I'm so sorry. Bad news. You're gonna have to sleep on the floor. Okay, here we go. We have some fertilizer and we're gonna use it tomorrow, hopefully. We're gonna have two raw food. So let's make it happen. Screw this? No, Bruno. Work. I'm telling you. I'm not sure how it works. But I think it will- it takes a full night for you to have some- Oh, he's smoking. There we go. You're wounded, you need medical attention, but you're smoking. That's perfectly fine. I bet that's gonna improve your health a lot. Every night I hear someone is hurt in this damn city. I guess nobody's coming to trade today. So what I'm gonna do is see if I can craft some more cigarettes. Let's see. Yes, we can. Not a lot of them, but eight. Eight is fine. I could make some more because I have a lot of herbs. But uh, right now, I do have a good supply of cigarettes, I think. Dude! Do it! These guys, I have a full gang of rebels. I don't care. Just work. Wow, I didn't notice the temperature. Will we have the cold season soon? Oh, Lord. I need a heater then. I need to check my things. I'm gonna do it before scavenging so that I know what I need to bring tonight. I guess food is not really required right now. I would go for parts and wood probably. So let's see. We're gonna bring Katya to scavenge. Someone advised me not to guard the place with someone that is depressed. But we don't have anyone else. So, Bruno, you're gonna have to do it. You're the only one that is not tired. Marin is very tired, so you're gonna have to do it. Oh, we have new locations. So, a hotel and a city hospital. Okay, so the city hospital has been shelled several times. Blah, blah, blah. Dr. Jeff Mo, a renowned surgeon who remains steady fast and keeps the others in line. So, oh, in a sheltered school. 
They might be willing to trade with us. Oh, finally, a place where I can trade. Okay, let's go there. I wanted to go to the church and take revenge from, from that freaking priest. But if I'm gonna take Katya, she's not wounded. She's just sad and tired. You know what? I'm gonna go to the church. Wait, but there's more than one person there. And I don't have weapons. I don't have ammunition. I only have something like a hatchet or a shovel. I would guess the hatchet is the best one to use to kill someone. I never tested it in real life. Gotta say that, so I don't know. I would probably be better off bringing the knife. But the thing is, I don't want to harm Katya. And the only way to get those guys down without harming Katya would be with a pistol and ammo. Unfortunately, they screwed up my plan because they used the ammunition to guard my place. So I'm gonna go definitely to the shelled school and check what are these guys trading. So I'm gonna bring with me the cigarettes. It seems that Bruno didn't finish up crafting all the cigarettes I wanted. And it's still something I don't agree with in the game. Uh, let's see. What else can I bring? I could bring the sugar. I'm not crafting moonshine any soon. So let's just bring that. Might gives us an edge. And the things I gotta trade is parts. I could use some wood. Wood is not rare, so I'm not gonna trade for wood. And what else? I guess that's it. We could bring some raw food, even though we're gonna have it from the trap. So let's see. Please don't shoot me on sight. That is despicable. Ask first, please. Talk first. And then shoot. Let's see who's out there. Children, maybe? I need parts. And I could take these weapon parts. Oh, whoops. It's not what I wanted to do. I'm nervous. I am nervous. I'm scavenging a place with people around. I had to be careful. No, that wouldn't be right. We're not bandits. Okay, there seem to be two grown-up guys over here. Remember, we are to protect the people, not harm them. Are you friendly then? He has a pistol, so... We definitely gotta be careful with those. I guess they're just gonna patrol the place. I've already been here on one of my playthroughs, and I know the guy that is trading stuff is up here somewhere. He just shows up automatically. I think. There we go. Uh, oh my good lord. No, 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 no. Come on, not again, dude. Really? I didn't steal anything. You shouldn't have done that. What the... What have I done? I just closed the door! Dude, don't do that! No! Don't shoot me, please just go away. <sighs> so the only supplies I got tonight... ...were... what? A bullet that is stored on my shoulder? Stored on Katya's shoulder, maybe you can use that. And what else? I know I've picked up some stuff. And we've been raided. Wonderful! I feel I won't get to day 20. And we got some parts and weapon parts. Bruno is bleeding. It looks like he won't make it. Someone tried to rob us. They were a tough and mean bunch, but they didn't do much harm. Marin is feeling much better. We just have to keep an eye on him. Well, good news for a change. God dang it. We need to get some bandages for Bruno, even if it means taking them from other people. Now you're willing to steal, aren't you? But Bruno spent the whole... Oh, lethally wounded. Okay. Maybe it should be time for you to get some bandages. You know, I... What? This happened during the night? Is that it? Because he was already bandaged. This definitely happened during the night. Which is unfortunate. So Katya, get some food. 
And she's very tired as well, as you can see. She's walking like a zombie. This episode, or this season, is definitely becoming a Walking Dead season. Lethally wounded, hungry, so we're gonna give Bruno some food as well. Katya, you're very tired, so you're gonna go to bed. Marin is feeling better, and he's sad. Everyone is sad around here, it's not even a surprise anymore. So you're gonna have some food. Bruno, you're gonna go to bed. Definitely. Run if you can. You obviously cannot. Can barely move his legs. Oh god. It's the second night I can remember where... I didn't bring much. The other one was when Pavlis died. I know, I, I keep remembering that night. It's something that I can't get over yet. Something that keeps coming on my memory. Unless we get some bandages, yada yada yada. I know that. He's already bandaged. I would hope this rap would already have some rats in it. With meat. Let's see what we can craft. Someone's at the door. Who is this? I have no bad intentions. I don't know if I should trust you, dude. Are you gonna join me? I'm not sure I want someone right now. Can I stay with you? Thanks for opening the door. I'm looking for a place to hide away for some time. I was drafted by the rebels, but I didn't want to kill my brothers. So I ran away at the first opportunity. If they catch me, I'm dead. Let me stay with you. Okay, why not? I guess Bruno is about to die, so I'll just have a, another good guy out there. I hope. What are you specialized in? Let's see. Training combat! Oh lord! Dude, I remember this guy. I used this guy in one of my playthroughs and he kills a guy so easy. You just have to hide in one of those holes, black holes, and he comes out of it when someone passes through and kills it. Why am I thrilled about having someone that can kill someone so easily? I don't know, I guess it's the war. It's changing my mind, but I don't care. Now, we need some bandages. What is this? Oh, it's the cigarettes that Bruno didn't finish. So let's do that. The... I don't know if he needs to do this to finish all the other cigarettes or just two of them that remain to be crafted. Let's see, how many do I have now? Ten, so yeah, I just needed to craft two more. So let's see, Roman, the bad thing is... He's wounded, and I don't have any bandages now, and I can't craft them because I don't have alcohol. I wish the trader comes by so that I can give him some cigarettes for bandages or alcohol. I don't know what's best. I could make some more cigarettes. So let's craft some tobacco. Let's go with... 10, let's go for... It stacks at 10, so it's a good idea to make 10 more. So let's just craft 10 of them. Here we go. What can we do with Roman? You know, the more time passes by, and the further you are into the game, the less things you have to do during the day. The night is really, really what becomes interesting and intense at the same time. So Bruno is bandaged and he's recovering. I hope he goes through this. Uh, the bad thing is we have another guy that is very wounded. I have no idea what can I do for him. This will be a night where I will either turn things over or lose the game. I can feel this. I'm gonna take Roman. And I'm gonna try to bring some guys down. That's decided. He's wounded. I don't know if that will affect his HP bar. I think it will. But we will have to risk it. Um, did I make homegrown tobacco? Oh, here we go. We're gonna make some roll-up cigarettes. Not the good ones, I guess. But, uh, that's how it's gonna have to be. Ten components. That's a lot. Oh, I'm gonna make... 40 cigarettes. Okay, that will take some time. So, I wonder, if I just end the day, will Marin have or craft the cigarettes he would if I would just wait? 
I have no idea, but I'm gonna risk it. So let's just end the day and check now while picking up the guy to scavenge. So Roman can only bring 10 slots of stuff. I have to decide first where I'm gonna go. I would go to the church and take revenge on those guys, but I don't think there's any place to hide there. You know, those black spots where I can hide between the walls. Because that's a perfect place to take down one guy. So let's see. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna go to the church with Roman. I'm gonna leave Bruno to recover in the bed. I'm gonna also leave, let's see, Katya to sleep in the bed. And Marin is gonna guard the place, even though he's sad. He will tell sad stories to whoever tries to raid us during the night. And it will be sad and they won't be able to raid us. I wish. So, Roman, you're gonna take the knife. I would guess it's better than the crowbar or the hatchet to attack. I hope I'm right there. And there's no need to take anything to trade because those guys aren't willing to trade at all. So, let's see. He certainly doesn't look ready to kill anyone. Oh, there we go. So the wounded state does affect your HP bar. It makes logic. I can't understand that. And this guy's still there. Now, I wonder, because I'm trading combat, am I better? Or do I have a higher chance of killing this guy than him? I have no idea. But as you can see, there's no black spots. I hear someone crying. Are you a prisoner? Are you a victim? There's a ha Oh wow, this place is huge. How can I get to this side? There's no way to do it, or is it? Oh, I need to go underground here? And then use this ladder. If this guy wouldn't just start attacking me on sight. I think it was actually my fault. When I picked up st stuff, he just understood that as someone robbing. Now there's a guy down there and he's gonna come at me if I just come up on this guy. I wonder if I can just run, outrun these guys and come to this side and just, you know, lose track of them. Who are you? Oh, he didn't call for the other guy's help. I'm a friend. Yes, I am. Please don't kill me. You say that now. You were about to kill Katya. Take this. Oh my god, the other guy is coming. I do a lot of damage. Oleg, don't leave me. He just left you. And you're now a pussy. I won't let you... Oh, what, what, what the hell are you doing? Is he gonna call for help? Let's get to the other side. Fast. Before he sees me. I guess the guy will always spot me, so... I am in trouble. Either if I run or not. But I guess this guy won't be sad or depressed. I mean... He's the guy that knows to fight. He's probably a veteran combatant or something. Oh lord, I can't get to the other side? Can't you jump over here? Oh, you can! Swell. Oh my god, I love you. Let's try and do good things now. Really? Please do find something I can use. Oh my god, this place is blocked. Oh, there's uh, some stairs here. Oh, there's someone there. Oh my god, he's gonna kill me. Oh lord. Are you... Shenanigans! Don't! Come on, everyone wants to kill everyone now. Where are you going? The door is boarded up, but he's still here. Oh my god, kill him! There we go! Throw him out of the balcony, dude, do it! Oh wow, this guy is really a good com combatant. Dude, just pick up his weapon. There we go. I have to be fast. The night is ending, and I want to get home. This guy is severely wounded. I don't want to lose this guy. Definitely. I don't want to lose Roman. I guess it's gonna be our only shot of surviving from now on. 
Because everyone decides to attack me now. It's amazing. Oh, can I check the fridge? It should be full of stuff. Oh, wait a second. I was not in scavenge mode. Well, I am now, but the fridge is still not lootable. I need to be fast. The night is ending. Oh my god, really? Come on, pick up some stuff. Cut is counting on you. And Bruno, oh my god, just trash, really? This place is blocked as well. I need to bring a shovel with me. I guess the gold mine is on the church itself. Underground there. So I need to come back and go there and kill that guy. It's amazing how Roman is still able to run. That's amazing. This guy is a warrior. That's, I tell you. I hope you can exit this on this side because I don't think I will have time to go to the left. You know, there were there was some progress, but uh, it was not a good night of scavenge. And I don't have bandage at home now. I don't know if Roman is going to make it or not. Positively speaking, we survived. We have day 16. But let's be true and say that this won't go well. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I have one more thing to do before leaving you and Roman. And we have been raided. Just amazing. I have a giveaway going for this world of mine. And unfortunately, I only have one key. And I have over 200 entries. I wish I had like 100 entries to make most of you happy. So good luck to you. And I'm gonna pick someone. Bam! Small killers. You're the one. So I'm gonna message you shortly after posting this video and the only thing I want from you is to answer me so that I can send you this key. I will give you a few days before picking someone else if you don't answer. That's that, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoy this. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.